Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a new cigar from General Cigar and Hoya de Monterey Excalibur. Today's choice is the new Excalibur Black, a 6x52 Toro. There is the density. As you can see, it's quite dark. And with the dark and the black and the bands, it makes it even look darker. Now, this cigar uh, continues uh, <clears throat> the 40 year run of uh, Excalibur. And it's a new chapter for them uh, uh, with a uh, fuller bodied offering. The cigar is comprised of a USA Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper an Ecuadorian Sumatra binder and Honduran and Nicaraguan Lajero fillers. Uh, it comes in, I believe it's four, three sizes actually, Robusto, Toro, and a number one, which is seven and a quarter by 54. Priced very nicely, 849, 869, and 899 for the cigars in order, as I mentioned. That's pretty much the long and the short of it. So we're gonna get right to the review. The new Hoya de Monterey Excalibur Black. This doesn't really look like a 52 to me. That's what they say it is. That's what I'm going to call it. But anyway, looks smaller than a 52, looks more like 50. Okay, I'll let that be an acceptable draw. It's got a little bit of firmness to it. Not too bad. Okay, the flavors is it's a weird combination. You got chocolate, citrus peel, raisin, and black coffee. And the citrus peel is what throws it a little bit wacky. Raisin, chocolate, black coffee, okay, but that citrus peel is really giving it a, a twist. Black pepper. I am going to call it black pepper. It's almost acting like a white pepper, believe it or not. The black pepper is about seven, seven and a half. That's how you start. It, to me, it's odd. But, hey, let's see how it plays out at the first third. It took me about a quarter, half an inch to figure these flavors out. It's not because I'm not paying attention. It's because they're just... It was just different. Let's see what we have at the first third. First third. This is a very different cigar. It, it, it has a lot of sweet notes but those sweet notes are very odd grouped together. There's chocolate, citrus peel, light raisin. Now there's some honey aspects and a very earthy black coffee. You need to think about those flavors in your mind and see how they would be. It's just odd. The finish is citrus peel and raisin with a little honey and uh, pretty good lingering black pepper. I'll, I'll stick with black. Medium to full. 
this particular set of flavors is not overly appealing to me. It is quite sweet, but a unique set of flavors. I'm rating the first order at 88. I'm not sure where it's going, and I've had a couple of them, but I'm still not sure where it's going. So we're going to have to see where we are at the end of the second third. In the second third, and we're definitely heading in a different direction. Chocolate, cocoa, light orange peel, earthy black coffee. It it, it it doesn't have a lot of sweetness, and it's a very earthy cigar, and it's just the appeal aspect is just not there. Uh, I um, it's it's pretty much full body. The finish is chocolate, dark chocolate, a little citrus peel, and pretty good lingering black pepper. But the cigar just the flavors aren't working with me. Uh, Eighty five for the second third is is it's just not appealing. Um, the, tra the trajectory is definitely downward, so I'm, I'm very curious as what the final third will bring, but I'm not finding a lot that's appealing. So uh, let's see what the final third brings, but right now I'm not too much enjoying it. down to the end so let's wrap it up this one perplexes me dark chocolate light sweet notes I guess of honey and earthy black coffee black pepper is still pretty good on the front end it's very good on, on the finish Finish is pretty much unchanged. I did not find this as an appealing cigar. The final third got earthier, it just got darker. It's full bodied. I would rate the final third 82. That gives you an overall score of 85. It was okay at the beginning, although odd, but then the sweet notes went away and pretty much it got to nothing but earthy dark notes. There's no, there's no, very little, no sweetness really in that chocolate. It's more of a dark chocolate and uh, the only sweetness is very minor from that uh, honey in the final third, so. You know, have it uh, at your own leisure and let me know what you think, but this didn't do it for me. So there you have it. My take. The new Excalibur Black Toro. 85.